Hello. Yeah. We already got this. I don't know what happened. It was it jumped up again. I hate TikTok. It always does stupid shit like that. But this is uh, Prince of Swords. Somebody uh, just uh, watching you. Somebody's watching you. Not in an underhanded way, just normal way. You could be watching your Facebook media anyway, right? The challenge is a strong group of like-minded individuals with the Three of Pentacles and uh, eight of, uh, eight of, um, just eight, number eight, strength, Leo energy. Mm, taming the lion. It's these two together add up to, uh, this is a strong group of like-minded individuals. It could be anything. Strong group. Like they're strong in a group. Uh, this adds up to 11 justice. It could be a group of justice, some uh, law enforcement. It could be. It doesn't have to be. It could be like, uh, I don't know, anything. A group of motorcycle enthusiasts. It could be a group curling club, right? What do we got in the uh, lens you've been looking through? Thinking about a love union, some kind of love union here with the Ace of Cups, okay? Mm, or some kind of, something that can bring you a lot of joy. Thinking, uh, yeah, it's the King of Wands, Prince of Wands. Never mind, this is the Knight of Wands here. No, this is the Prince. The Princes are the kings in the, in the Golden Dawn deck, so, yeah. This is uh, King of Wands that you're uh, interested in here. Aries, of righteous rams. What do we got in the past? How did we get here for Aries? Ooh. Okay, in the past there was uh, loss, lack, and regret. Then you turn that around, turned up the inside, and you learned how to shine uh, light on your inner darkness. This adds up to twenty-four. The sun. This is more Leo energy. So this is being a leader, leadership. Learning how to run your own. Uh, Pride. Mm. Sounds up to 24. Somebody could be 24, 42. Um, or Gemini. Mm, the lovers. That's up to 6. Number 6. Presently. Okay, yeah, let's check this. Presently, there's justice going on. This is Libra energy. This is uh, scales being balanced. Some kind of justice over cheating, lying, and stealing. Got 7 of swords and justice. A lot of swords here. Actually, in the heart of the situation only, really. And now, in the present. So, currently, there's a lot of swords going on. Seven of swords is cheating, lying, and stealing. Something underhanded. Doesn't have to be. It could be so, as easy, as simple as somebody telling a lie. But there's ju with justice right beside it, my take is that the scales will be balanced in this. So, somebody's balancing the scales. This adds up to 18, much is hidden about this. So, I'm going to pull one right now. What's hidden, Holy Spirit, if you want to tell us? Okay, somebody's walking away from it. No longer serves them with the Eight of Cups. Is what that that means. Mm. Twenty. What's that? Sixteen. Seven. Okay. Eighteen plus eight is twenty-six. Somebody could be twenty-six, sixty-two, born sixty-two. I know somebody is because it's always on. Comes out. Uh, eight again. Leo energy. What do we got in the future? Ooh. Future. We've got protection. Somebody's protected in the future. We've got Dr. Death here with, um, yeah, Dr. Death. Basically, um, balancing the scales. That right there adds up to the divine judgment. Divine judgment being called down, which is, uh, yeah, 20 in the tarot. More scorpion, more scorpionic energy. So heavy scorpionic energy in the future. Like change. The times, they are changing. Uh, three of swords. Yes, this is a heartbreak. More heartbreak. That adds up to 23. So born 23. Or, so maybe 23, 32. Or, um, born in, uh... No, they wouldn't be that fucking old. Um... That adds up to the higher font. So I could be a religious leader. What do we got in the, uh... Where you're influencing things there, Aries? 4.44 in the clock. 144,000. Oh, God bless him. Mm. The moon, in the way you're influencing things. The moon, alongside with a great achievement. You're achieving something great right now. That's what Spirit's saying here. 
So be proud of yourself. Give yourself a pat on the back. The moon means much is hidden about this, so that adds up to 22. So, I don't know. Maybe there's something you have to put the two, two, two. What's hidden here with the moon, Holy Spirit? Uh, okay, somebody's getting paid for something. Uh, whatever. Something to do with uh, money exchanging hands. So adds up to 28. Somebody could be getting over addictions. What have you got in hopes and fears? Hopes and fears. Hope. Okay, Princess Wands, you're hoping to explore and get good news, and I think you will. You can manifest your own good news, right? What do we got in the lens you'll be looking to? Mm. Mm. Oh, conflict. Okay, so right now you've you got your hands filled with some conflict. A little bit of conflict. Midgets have tried to rob you, so you had to give show them a, a lesson and kick a 50-yard field goal with them. Understandable. What do we got in the environment? Oh, for Aries, the righteous rams. Righteous. Bang your head. Mental health to drive you mad. The chariot. You could be dealing with a Cancerian. This also adds up to, uh, there's, uh, the Wheel of Fortune. This is a faded event. There could be, um, yes. This adds up to, uh, Aquarius energy. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Uh, 17 in the environment. Getting forward movement, gaining control of your environment and victory. Mm, very beautiful. It's more scorpionic energy with the Wheel of Fortune here. What have we got in the outcome? <clears throat> There's scorpionic energy sprinkled throughout all this. There's a king of cups here, okay? You, you're, you're either mastering your feelings in the future, or you're going to be dealing with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio, a water sign. Um, give me another one for outcome, please, Holy Spirit. These two. The three. Yes, and the Queen of Wands. This could be a Virgo Libra energy right here. And a slow, diligent knight. Uh, another Earth sign. Uh, uh, this could be Earth or Air, Queen of Swords, right? But Prince of... They could it didn't really be anything, right? But this is this the, the way they are. There's another person here who's... Uh, actually, two more Earth signs. There's a lot of Earth in here, actually. Queen of Pentacles and a Prince of Pentacles. A Prince of Pentacles is... Uh, is um, the princes are kings in this one. So this is a king of pentacles, somebody a business owner or something like that. The queen of pentacles is uh, somebody who's practical, down to earth thinking, um, likes the great outdoors. Mm, they both got balls. Together they got two huge balls here. See, we got one ball here. She, he's, she's holding one, he's holding one. So they got big balls. They got big balls. They've got the biggest balls of the ball. And... The Queen of Swords has a head, which I guess you could count as a ball, so just like in Total Recall, maybe they'll make another one with a guy with three balls, who knows, right? One can hope. At the bottom of the deck, we got Working Hard at Your Craft with the Eight of Pentacles. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, what would you like to tell Aries? What should she be aware of? She or he? I'm getting female on this. Uh, judgment, okay. <laughs> judgment being called down, something to do with the lovers. Um... So that's up to 26. Again, 62, 26 comes out all the time on this channel. Adds up to 8, something, a Leo energy. Um, 62, yes. Mm, divine judgment. This is divine judgment, so this is not to police. Something to do with lovers or a Gemini. Could be a lover's union you're in. Could be anything. A lover's union that you know about. Two people, yeah. You have some snakes among you. Big giant sea snake coming out of the water in this one. Give me another one for... We still got a minute left here. Uh, two. Somebody from your past that brings you uh, ten cups of love. This adds up to a uh, 16 tower. Something from your past that, that um, you had you, you have ten cups of love for. But it adds up in, a, in, a, in a, a tower. So, I don't know. Give me one on this quick. We still got time. Okay, uh, you're very guarded about this. Uh, whatever it is. Why is Aries guarded about it? We still got 30 seconds. Uh, okay, because you're the queen of wands, and you do things your own way. And that's why Spirit's not going to tell me about it, because you do things your own way, much like the Fleetwood Mac song. And uh, you're easy on the eyes, and loved and hated, because you're a true original. Have a good one, Aries.